Croeso Pawb hyn yma. Dan i'n ôl hefo episod newydd. A hyn yma mae gynna fi cwrw bach wedi prynu o rola lleol sydd wedi cael eu creu yn mwna. O ran nhw dwynwen. Gan Mwna Bragdy. Welcome back, folks, to another episode, a new episode, where I'm coming in with a local beer, uh, which has been uh, brewed in a place called Mona, and the brewery is called Mona Bragdy, and it's called Dwinwen. This is a strawberry beer, um... Coming in at 4.3% ABV. Uh, I'm quite looking forward to this one. I haven't had many strawberry uh, beers. Uh, I've had a couple from the supermarkets. But nothing made locally. Or nothing made by a microbrewery. Or a craft brewer. Uh, so not only is it local to me. It's a strawberry beer. Um, and sounds delicious. Uh, just reading the ingredients, and it says it's brewed with malted barley, wheat, hops, um, but contains strawberry juice. So I'd imagine this to be quite sweet and probably not too bitter. Um, it's going to be more sweet than bitter on the ratio, I would imagine. Uh, I'm not first either way. I like both. I like super bitter things. I like really malty things. I like really sweet things. Uh, what can I say? The Wazman is a madman. He likes a bit of everything. Boom. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so the win win. This is what the can looks like. Uh, it's got a picture of a lady and. Um, where Santa Dwynwen was buried locally to here in uh, Newborough or Newborough Beach um, on an islander. Anyway, uh, I also managed to pick up a nice Mona Bragdy glass. This was purchased from a local cafe. I sell local um, beers such as this, which I'm really excited about because these sorts of things are growing larger and larger on Anglesey. It's growing the economy, but not only that, it's it's exciting to see these local beers coming in and tasting them and having these restaurants, bars and cafes introduce uh, these local craft beers anyway here's the glass here's the beer let's open it up mother cluckers whoa here we go oh okay so my initial impressions are you can smell the malts it smells like your well like your generic malts and hops hence it's called strawberry beer it's no pale ale it's almost like your It's almost like a lager. Um, smells a bit generic. I can smell some of the sweetness coming through. It smells good. Uh, but yeah, this is a, I would say, a lager based strawberry beer. Um, and I suspect it's a bit light in colour. So let's pour it in and have a look. Yeah. 
I really love this glass. Here we go. So I don't know if you saw that. It's a amber coloured. Nice colour to it. Um, well carbonated. It's got one finger white head. Like I said, it smells like lager with the sweetness. I'm just going to give this a bit of a twirl, pour a bit more in. Yeah, so this is this is a filtered beer, no doubt. It's it's clear as it's there's no haziness to it. Um, let's dive in with the cluckers. Was man going in? Ooh. Okay. So, <clears throat> initial impressions is comparing to the aroma, the taste is not what you expect. Um, it's got a nice carbonation, uh, sizzles around the mouth, got a fresh sparkling sort of carbonation it's not like a it's not an overwhelming carbonation it's a nice sparkling car carbonation and you're getting that nice lag um taste you're getting the malts and stuff but you, you are you're introduced with it with a little punch of sweetness and the strawberryness comes at the back end and it's, it's a really zingy, sweet strawberryness, but nothing overwhelming. It's really nice. Going in again. Mm. Yes, that's delicious. Um. <clears throat> so. It's got, to me, a really nice sweet balance. You've got the nice maltiness from the beer, or from the lager. Um, you're not getting any bitterness, but it's no pale ale. It's not an ale. It's it's a malty lager with this sweet juiciness from the strawberry juice they've added. And it complements each other. It's really nice. Um, I would compare this to something like, like a shandy, if, if you're a lady and you're not really into your lagers or your beer, um, I would recommend this. It's like, as, as like I, like I said, it's almost like a shandy. It's got, it's got that maltiness, <coughs> excuse me, but it's got the sweetness to finish off. Rather than than having the maltiness and the bitterness to, or the dryness to finish off, for certain people who don't like the bitterness and the dryness, it it starts with the maltiness and gives you a zing of sweetness, a refreshing strawberry burst in the mouth, along with that sparkling sort of carbonation. And it's nice. It's a nice, easy drinking. This in the summertime would be absolutely tremendous. Uh, I'm going for one last um, taste, and I'll tell you what the Wasman thinks. With the cluckers. Here we go. Boom. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Was man. Let's sum it up and give it a final score. So, to me, like I said, I described it shandy-like. 
it's a sweet beer, sweet lager. Um, it's got nice maltiness. It's got no bitterness. Don't expect any bitterness or any dryness from the hops. You're not getting any of that. But I don't think it's made for that. It's made for um, somebody who doesn't like the bitterness or um, dryness or anything overwhelming. Somebody who likes to keep things mellow. Somebody who likes things uh, quite carbonated. And also, this is going to be a big summertime hit. Honestly, it's in the summertime, this it would be perfect. Uh, it's really nice. Um, uh, and I guess it's, you know, these reviews are personal, whether you like it sweet or hoppy or dry. It's up to you how you like things. I'm lucky in the respect that I like everything. Boom. Um, I'm going to give you the Wasman rating on how I think it's made and produced and advertised, considering the price point. I got this for, I think it was £3.35. Um, it's locally made. It's made with love. I'm going to rate this. I'm going to rate this a 7.8 out of 10. It's really nice. Uh, it's what I expected. You know, for a strawberry beer, it's nice and refreshing. It's not to everyone's taste, but it is something that would be absolutely perfect for a summer's day or for somebody to be introduced into the beer world. Anyway, that's my opinion. That's Wasman, the madman. Uh, that was Dwinwen by Mona Bragdi. Uh, I need to buy more of this stuff but yeah so far so impressed with the local community for producing such great beers thanks for watching like subscribe hit the comment button if you've got any comments uh, just do whatever you want see you later mother clockers have a good evening boy boy